the first thing that comes out here, and I feel like, you know, this is basically how to get what you want and how to go about it with a, uh, a very systematic approach, okay? So the beginning of the month, these two cards pop out first. So this is dealing with possibly residual energies as well. We have the Temperance card in the Nine of Cups. Now, the first thing that pops out at me, first of all, is that... Um, both of these, there are heavy, heavy cups energy. So it deals with overindulgence, satisfaction, smugness. It basically means getting what you want, but you want to make sure you hold things, do things in moderation. Okay. This is about moderating your emotional feelings because the temperance card is about balance. Okay. And I feel like linked up with the nine of cups, it does deal with emotional balance. It does deal with juggling something that you've just attained, something that you have just recently incorporated into your life. And now you're trying to either carve time for it or to carve time out to enjoy life and to have some fun, either going out with friends or having a lot more, you know, um, leisure activities, doing more leisure activities. But I do feel that you want to not drop the ball when it comes to other responsibilities that you have to offer, um, that you have to like, um, tend to. So this is about doing things in moderation. There is something um, in your life that is, if it came through the beginning of this month, I do feel that it is bringing you a lot of satisfaction, a lot of uh, love, joy, and contentment. And as a result of it, you might like, you know, get swept off your feet and you might just um, overindulge, okay? It could be overindulging in food, wine, drinking, um, or like overindulging in another person comes up greatly to me as well. So I, that means, you know, like, uh, becoming crazed with another person and not taking care of your own practical responsibilities or not devoting enough time to the things that you're supposed to take care of. Okay. So both of these are very, very good cards, but together they do indicate to me overindulgence okay overindulgence can leave you in a state of emotional imbalance as well so keep that in mind all right um so what i'm feeling here is going back to what i mentioned about you know something that you're trying to unravel there are many many actors involved okay so this is a card about uh the nine of cups first of all was about wish fulfillment the Wheel of Fortune is about, you know, your luck turning around, everything coming your way, and everything that um, is meant to be on your path is basically going to cross your path this month. So you have a wealth of opportunities, a wealth of abundance coming through for you. And this can be um, expanding your social circle, your professional network, as well as, you know, having a myriad of love interests coming your way. So it's like luck and abundance, everything is coming through for you. Um, what I'm feeling here with the Five of Swords as well, the Five of Swords traditionally, it, it indicates like an empty victory, okay? So once again, all the opportunities are laid out in front of you. And I feel that it's really important for you to be extra careful and extra strategic this month, because what it tells me is, for example, if you have a lot of professional like contacts that come through, uh, you want to devote your time to contacts that are actually, you know, going to that, that are like that have the same interests as you or group functions that you feel closely in alignment with. OK, so that you're not scattering your time and your energy. Additionally, you might have a myriad of uh, love interests coming through for you as well. And some of them are just one night stand while others are like, you know, long term commitment. So depending on whatever it is that you're after, you want to be strategic and think about long term ramifications. So, for example, you are really attracted to somebody, but there is another person that has long term potential. So you would, you know, like um, you would discard the one with long term potential just for that one night stand. So this is about, you know, a hollow victory. It comes about with a lot of choices, a lot of options and a lot of opportunities, but you want to make the right choice so that you don't end up in this state where you got what you want. But in terms of, you know, like a, an overall victory at the end of it, which is like the things that you crave, the things that provide a little bit more stability for you are not there. So I hope that makes sense to you when it comes to work as well. So, you know, don't, I guess like it's really important to start planning out 
the opportunities that are like leading down a dead end or the opportunities that have long-term career or professional growth or even like that are a little bit more stable for you in the long run or that are better for you in the long run, okay? So it's like a myriad of opportunities coming through on all fronts, love, relationships, social interactions, professional networks, as well as jobs. So I feel that you you don't really have to worry. It's just, you know, you want to follow the trail that leads you to like pay dirt rather than leading you to a dead end. Okay, so be very careful about this. And um, the five of swords is a sword suit and you're an air sign. So I'm more inclined to believe that you might be in a situation where you are tempted as well. Okay. And um, I feel strategy, long-term planning is really important. So um, it would be in your best interest, I would say, like to try to figure out or at least, you know, not succumb to opportunities that will also be hurtful to other people, okay? So I'm also feeling as well, for a lot of you, if you are driving, be very, very careful. Uh, make sure you are completely sober or have a designated driver, okay? So don't do something at the expense of somebody else, okay? That's, um, it's, it's basic karma. It's, it's the rule of, um, the universe. It's karma. Actions and consequences, okay? Opportunities are there. Be careful about your actions as well as, you know, your actions can bring about negative or positive consequences. So how you act following your moral compass, knowing right from wrong, and I guess like um, tuning into your higher intuitive knowledge, higher truths, rather than baser desires. Okay, so that's important here. The next cluster deals with your emotional state. And uh, for a lot of you, we have a soulmate connection here. You have the two of cups as well as the three of wands. And both of these indicate to me that there is an energy circulating around you of a very, very faded uh, union with another person, okay? Uh, for a lot of you, this is a situation that you've been waiting on for quite some time. I feel that this is a, I feel like this is somebody that you might have been waiting on like five months, uh, I'm sensing, five months because of the, the ships in the back. And I feel like, you know, you're, you're waiting for it. And um, I feel like the universe is rewarding the weight, okay? It is rewarding you for the weight and whatever the hard work that you've been uh, dealing with. The Two of Cups, once again, in a love situation, it does indicate a situation, a relationship that is built on e egal uh, equality. It's a very egalitarian relationship. There is equal give and take. There is also a very strong sense of camaraderie and a strong sense of mutual caring and recipro reciprocity between two people. In terms of um, on the mundane sense, it can also indicate contracts, things coming together, things getting off the ground and things being solidified. So I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of meetings there's a lot of hashing out. There's a lot of negotiations that are taking place in your environment. And I feel that for a lot of you, you are going to be very, very victorious because I feel like the opportunities are there and the contracts are being signed. Okay, so something is being solidified for this month, either in love or in uh, business. Um, I also feel as well, there is a situation where um, the energy is coming in, where you're solidifying, you're solidifying something that you're supposed to do possibly for the next two years in your life. Okay, so something, some major, major shifts, important decisions um, needs to need to be made. Okay, um, the next cluster, these are very good cards. Okay, so um, what I'm feeling intuitively based on the way these two cards are coming out is... I feel, first of all, Three of Wands, it does also indicate a little bit of travel as well. For a lot of you, you might be offered a job and it might require a move from your immediate environment in order to pursue this job. So it might be um, geographically like a little bit further away where you are going to have to move house, move property as, long, uh, as well as your belongings in order to pursue this job, okay? That's what I'm sensing here. In terms of your finances, it looks very good. This is basically the, the seed of a new venture. So this can be a brand new project. This can be a brand new job, or it can be a new income generating 
um, opportunity. So um, it doesn't indicate self-employment just yet, but what I'm feeling is a lot of wealth and abundance coming through, as well as new jobs, especially for those of you who have been looking and you have been looking for either three, five, three or five months. A lot of opportunities are coming through. So once again, that idea about, you know, discernment, sifting through the illusions from the real things, okay, is really important for you. I feel that no matter what, by the end of this month, you're going to separate the mirage from the tangible things, okay? So you're going to pursue something that is a little bit more stable for you. Uh, what I'm also feeling is this is a situation with the tower card and the impact of the tower is very, very transformative and it can be very long lasting. OK, a lot of you might have some revelations regarding finances, regarding work and regarding what it is that you want to pursue in terms of a new career path. So a lot of you might have left a situation where you you it, it might have been very um, lucrative. But it wasn't built on, you know, stable foundations. As a result of it, you're moving on to something that is a little bit more stable. So I feel like a 180 turn for some of you regarding career. For others of you, what I'm feeling is that you are given something to, to build upon. And I do feel that this is something that, um, that breaks you away from like this vicious cycle that you've been cycling through. So what I'm feeling is like in the past, for example, if you find yourself um, um, kind of like shifting from job to job and you know they're just jobs they're just very temporary and you you find yourself kind of coasting or drifting you're going to realize that okay that's no longer working for me I need a career so I feel that you are searching for a career something that you can build upon and it is coming through for you as well for others of you you might find yourself like dating the same people over and over and over again they might be different people but their personality the the way the relationship unfolds it's like the same pattern different people same patterns over and over and over again and as a result of it you're starting to realize you're coming to the realization i want something a little bit more stable i know what that looks like and the stable thing is anything but the old thing. So I'm just going to go with something new. And you're going to have like a different outlook regarding how to build up stability and a, be a better foundation in your own life. Okay. So these are very, very positive cards overall. Um, what I'm also sensing is I feel like travel for a lot of you for a new job. Okay. Or like at least new opportunities coming through. And the job is very different from the usual jobs that you've done in the past. Okay. Uh, what I'm also sensing as well is there might be, honestly, I feel like there might be breakups as a result of one person um, pursuing a different job and then the other person might not want to do the long distance relationship anymore. So I feel like uh, work interfering with the home environment, work interfering with um, interpersonal relationships. So don't let these situations affect one another. Don't let them overlap, okay? So um, if, for example, you've been spending a lot of time at work and, you know, your house is in disarray, make sure you take proper time to find the work-life balance. Work-life balance, balance in all aspects of your life, okay? So if you're in a new job, if you have started a new job and, you know, you're drinking all the time and you're out with your coworkers, just make sure it doesn't affect your other relationships. Like if you have a significant other and you're constantly at work or out drinking with your coworkers, for example, too, that can also, you know, create jealousy and distrust and, you know, unnecessary problems. So be careful about that. Okay. Work life balance is going to be very vital for you for this month. Um, so you do have some very, very strong cards here that indicate to me like uh, a lot of financial abundance, a lot of stability and a lot of uh, new energies coming through for you. So let's talk about the advice cards. I have here the four of wands, the princess of swords and the ten of pentacles. Um, the four of wands indicates like a lot of stability, a lot of structure is um, coming into your life. Now, Aquarius is one of the most eccentric signs of the zodiac, and you are very, very nonconformist. I definitely feel there are a lot of uh, situations that is going to force you. 
I don't feel it's in a bad way. I don't feel it's disruptive, but there's a lot of structure that's coming through. We have the four, which indicates foundations, and we also have the ten, which indicates like the apex of that um, generational wealth, okay? So both of these cards alone indicate to me that for a lot of you, you have been kind of drifting, kind of bouncing around. This is the, the month for you to create a foundation in a structure for yourself, okay? So the Four of Wands indicate harmony within the home environment. So a previous home environment had to break down in order for you to be able to achieve new foundations. And the new foundation looks to me, it has the potential to grow. So whatever new relationship partner that you're in and you feel like, you know, that sense of like kindred soul, this is going to be a relationship that can withstand the test of time because we're going from something very, very stable to something that, you know, we're going to from like a celebration, a couple's card into something that has like generational, like, um, elements to it, meaning that it is going to stand the test of time. It is going to produce offspring. It is going to bear fruit. So whatever situation you're in, if it's like a new job that you're starting this, um, this month, you are going to have a lot of stability and a lot of, it's, it's like a career track. It's not just a job. It's a career track. If it's a relationship as well, you are going to have a very, very stable, harmonious relationship. And there might be, it indicates to me strongly, marriage material, okay? This is like family, um, combining both sides of the family together and, you know, union and, and things like that. The one thing I want you to be mindful about is I feel like this might be your energy. And, you know, the, the Page of Swords, this is the Princess of Swords, but it shows up as the Page of Swords in the uh, Standard Rider Waite deck. So it's telling me, so Aquarius, you have this very, very good, fruitful energy coming through for you in finances, in jobs, and also in love. And I feel like for a lot of you, um, you're starting to feel claustrophobic, okay? You're starting to like look at greener pastures. You're not taking it very seriously. You're still kind of trying to coast, you know, like doing the minimal just to get by. So I feel like it's really important for you to get your head in the game, to be a little bit more strategic, to understand that opportunities like this don't come often. And for you to be very thankful of the opportunities that are coming through for you. Because I feel like, you know, that's what I meant earlier when I said like, you know, actions and consequences. A lot of opportunities, but deciding which ones to um, pursue is going to be of utmost importance for you. So, you know, get your head in the game. Um, don't get distracted. You're like swinging away with your sword and um, you're, you're not... You're not taking it as seriously as you should is what I'm feeling, okay? So being a little bit more strategic, being a little bit more, I guess, like, um, I don't, I, I feel like almost like um, welcome the opportunities when they come in and try not to interfere with uh, other people's family units is what I'm, I'm sensing, okay? Because it's kind of like there is a, another couple here there's another family here. So be very, very mindful that you don't stand in between other people. So this is specific advice for those of you who are potentially causing discord in other people's relationships. Like if you're like the mister or the missus in a mar coupled with a married person, you want to be especially mindful of this. Okay. So actions and consequences. And I feel that whatever new thing that comes through for you, it is going to be very, very stable. And I feel that it can lead, lead to something very, um, it's something that is very tangible, very real, and it can lead to a marriage type of a situation, okay?